When it comes to ballooning, Albuquerque is home to numerous world records. People from our city were the first to cross the Atlantic in a balloon, and an Albuquerque native currently holds the distance record for gas ballooning. Albuquerque may soon be able to boast a brand new record after a launch at Balloon Fiesta Park this morning. Second payload is up. Looks like we're going to clear the fence. That's the sound of what may be a world record in the making. Four stories tall, this unmanned solar balloon is called the John Magnus. And she's on her way. Woo! Leading the team is Daniel Bowman, a geosciences engineer who designed this balloon to capture and hold the sun's heat. And this balloon is a solar balloon with a thin plastic envelope that allows sunlight in and that sunlight is what heats the air inside. It's coated on the inside with a dark material known as biochar and that insulates it and keeps the hot air inside. Throughout the day, that heat will drive the balloon higher and higher into the atmosphere. If the John Magnus reaches 100,000 feet, it will likely qualify as the highest hot air balloon flight ever. So to break the record, they would have to reach an altitude of about 100,000 feet, which is in the stratosphere, that's over twice the height, or that's over twice the altitude of commercial airliners. Because of its special makeup, it would also qualify as the highest solar balloon flight. And there's a stowaway on this flight that makes it even more exciting. It's called a Raspberry Boom, an experimental device that listens for sounds that humans can't hear. Drifting high above eastern New Mexico or west Texas, it might capture the sound of a volcano erupting halfway around the Earth or ocean waves crashing thousands of miles away. Detects, detects low frequency sounds like ocean waves or volca volcanic eruptions, things that we don't necessarily hear, but it can hear them far away and high above them. If the balloon reaches 100,000 feet, the raspberry boom might even pick up the sound of people back at the balloon museum celebrating. And she's on her way. Woo! Sensors aboard the balloon are transmitting its position and altitude. It is expected to land in Oklahoma or maybe Texas after the sun goes down.